Hey guys, if you are watching this video, I'm assuming you have probably been working with sequences and then you've been finding recursive and explicit formulas from those sequences. Now we are just going backwards. They're giving us the formulas and they want us to figure out the sequence or at least the first four terms in the sequence. Now, if you haven't been doing it the other way, this could be a little confusing. So I'm going to refer you to a video in the corner to check out that will hopefully make this go a bit more smoothly. Starting with this first one, this is a recursive formula. I know that because they've given us the a sub one up there. And I know it's arithmetic because of that plus eight. So this is an arithmetic recursive. Now, if you don't identify that, it's probably fine, but it just, it makes me feel better. So we want to find the first four terms in this sequence. Well, guess what? They already just straight up gave us the first one. A sub one is 12. So that means the first number in this sequence is 12. But how do I find the rest? Well, I want to know the second term. So that is where N equals two, right? N refers to the place. So I want to know where N equals two. So to find that, I'm going to plug in here. So A sub two, the second number in my sequence is equal to a sub n minus one. So two minus one, which is one, right? So a sub one plus eight. So that just means we take a sub one, 12, and add eight to it, right? So 12 plus eight gives me 20. Now I could plug in three if I wanted, but I know what that's going to give me, right? It's going to give me a sub three equals three minus one, a sub two plus eight, right? So what this is telling me is I'm just adding eight every time. So I'm going to add eight. If I plug in four, it's going to tell me add eight to the third one, which will give me 36. And as always, I could keep going, but it just wants the first four. So there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad, right? All right, let's check out this one. This one is an explicit formula. I don't know why it's called that, but there you go. And it is arithmetic. But let's go ahead and find the first four terms of this sequence. So this one doesn't just straight up tell me the first one, but that's okay. To find the first term, I'm going to plug in 1 for n. So n equals 1. When I plug that in, I get a sub 1 equals negative 5 times n, we're plugging in 1, plus 45. So that ends up being negative 5 plus 45, which gives me 40. So the first term in this sequence is 40. To find the second one, I'm going to plug in 2 for n. a sub 2 equals negative 5 times 2 plus 45, which will end up being negative 10 plus 45, which gives me 35. Okay. All right, I'm thinking, oh, maybe we're subtracting five each time, right? But I kind of want to find one more just to solidify that. So n equals three. The third one, I take a sub three is equal to negative five times three plus 45, which gives me negative 15 plus 45, which gives me 30. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty confident that we are subtracting 5 each time, right? So my next one would be 25. Now, as you work with these more and more, you might be able to start recognizing the patterns more quickly. I was going to say more sooner, but that wouldn't be proper English. More quickly, okay? So 
if you figure it out before I do, power to you. Just make sure you're not going too fast. But yes, as you do these more, you will probably be able to pick up on the pa pattern faster. Okay. All right. Here we have, again, this is recursive. And it is looking pretty geometric-y to me, right? With that times one-tenth there. So this is a geometric recursive. I already know my first term is 1,000. A sub 1 is 1,000. Let's figure out what the second term is, which would be n equals 2. So A sub 2 is equal to A sub n minus 1. So 2 minus 1, which would just be 1. So A sub 1, the one before it, right? And we are going to times by one tenth, which is the same as dividing by 10, right? So basically we're taking this, dividing it by 10, which what does that give me? 1000 divided by 10 gives me 100, right? So A sub two equals 100. Okay, this is tricky when like that one has a comma. I'm gonna make this comma real big. <laughs> 100. Okay. Now I could plug in n equals 3, although you might be like, I already know what it's going to be. So 3 minus 1 is going to give me a sub 2. So take a sub 2 and times it by 1 tenth or divide it by 10. And what is that going to give me? That's going to give me 10. Right. And then if I were to divide that by 10, I would get 1. Right. And it would keep going. All right, there's the first four terms in that sequence. Last one. You can probably guess what this is. Hold on, what color have I used green? This is an explicit formula. And it is also geometric. Okay. So I want to know the first term. I want to know what n equals 1 is. So if I plug that in, a sub 1 is equal to 2 times 10 to the n minus 1 power. So I'm plugging in 1 for n. So 1 minus 1 is 0, right? Okay, what's happening? So a sub 1 is equal to 2 times 10 to the 0 power, <clears throat> excuse me, is 1, right? Anything to the power of 0 is 1. If you're wondering why, I'll link a video for in the corner. But 10 to the 0 power is 1. So I end up with 2 times 1, which is just 2, right? So a sub 1 is 2, meaning the first number in this sequence is 2. What's the second number in this sequence? a sub 2 is equal to 2 times 10 to the n minus 1 power. I'm plugging in 2 for n, so 2 minus 1 would give me 1. So 10 to the first. So 2 times 10 to the first is 10, so that gives me 20. Okay, awesome. Now you might have picked up on the pattern, but I am going to plug in n minus 3. So n minus 3. Sorry, this is getting a little crowded. Let's, you guys come over here. This is my n minus 3 guy. Okay. So a sub 3 is equal to 2 times 10 to 3 minus 1, which would be 2. So then I have 2 times 10 squared is 100, right? So 2 times 100 gives me 200. So a sub 3, the third number in my sequence, is 200. So what are we doing each time? They're multiplying by 10, right? Meaning my next number would be 2,000. And it would keep going, right? Multiplying by 10 each time. Okay, we did it. We went backwards. They gave us the formulas and we found the sequences. Good job. I'm going to like a whole playlist for you with lots more videos like this, okay? Thanks.